What's up guys and welcome back to my channel Today guys as you can see from today's thumbnail I'm showcasing a road known as Chiraka Twish Road on my channel Who is Chiraka Twish? That's the video for today If you are new on my channel subscribe, turn on bell notification Give this video a thumbs up I'm going to show you the location of Chirakatushi Road and then I'll briefly talk about the history of Chirakatwish. That's the video for today guys. If you are new on my channel, once again subscribe, turn on bell notification. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Let's go. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, Chirakatwishi Road. It starts from the popular ring road which is the real name for the ring road is known as the Tokyo Way. So this is the Tokyo Way where Chelakatwishi Road starts from. It is located after Yotamulea Road when you are coming eastbound. Going on the town direction it is uh, after Yotam Mulea Road is the next turn on your right. Or when you are coming from town direction, it is after the SDA Road on the Tokyo Way. After SDA on the turn left, that is Chela Katwishi Road. Today, guys, I'm going to tell you about Chela Katwishi Road, who Chela Katwishi is. So stay tuned and enjoy the ride if you missed my previous video where i was showing me buying a new bell for my bike there we go and then also my shoes which i told you were three dollars for cycling yes i use them for cycling guys Okay, heads up now and look up. I'm going to show you a little bit about this place as I talk about Chela Katwishi Road. This is the road called Chela Katwishi. Chela Katwishi. We are going to talk about Chela Katwishi, but I want you first to admire. As usual, we always talk about the positive side in this video. I'll just briefly show you. This is Chirakatwishi Road. Take a look how it is looking. They are mostly new houses under construction. Also beautiful houses which are already completed. There's a church here and another one in a tent. It's like this place is also, there are a lot of churches. So we've counted two churches. I'll show you another one as we go on. And furthermore, on this road, it goes on. This is the exact spot where there was a Njanji train, a train that used to go to Chilenji a long time ago. So this road proceeds straight. It crosses Yotamumrea Road to go behind a mega church known as Winner's Chapel. So that's the video for today. Just showing you briefly how the place looks like. Yes, so I had to cycle through up to the end. Also met some uh, young cyclists who wanted to challenge me for a drag race. We ended up chatting with these young dudes and they were really curious to see uh, how I cycle them too so i gave them a light moment so this was me demonstrating how i cycle on chela katwishi road so i showed them some uh, some skills about cycling yes now let's go guys and now we talk about chela katwishi at some point i may interrupt you if i see something very interesting in this video Without further ado, let's dive in. Who is Chela Katwishi? 
Ladies and gentlemen, Chela Katwishi is a Zambian personality who came on the scene in the 1980s, late 1980s. I'm not going to talk about Google. Let me talk. I'm so excited about this video because I'm going to speak from my heart. I'm not using any written document, anything that I researched on the internet. I'm going to talk about what I know about Chiraka Twish, not what the public know. If you were born before the 90s or 80s, sorry, you'll be surprised. I may, you may need to call me Uncle Travotainment. Okay, Chiraka Twish, did you know? So this video, basically, the title of this video is 10 Things You Didn't Know about Chiraka Twish. Number one, Chiraka, did you know that Chiraka Twish was a teacher? He was a teacher at Lusaka High School. Don't argue if you were not, you were not there. Maybe second point, did you know that he started working for ZNBC part-time? Yes, he had interest in media and so forth. Uh, he was working at ZNBC, but he came on the scene. We used to listen to him on Radio 2. Then there was the popular Radio Mulungushi, which is now known as Radio 4. Some of you may not even know ZNBC Radio 4 was known as Radio Mulungushi. There were no phones, cell phones at that time. Radio was the big thing. Yes, so he worked. Number three, he worked at ZNBC, particularly Radio 4. He even produced some powerful radio programs which we knew him for. Like there was a program called the Rumba Night, something like that. So then Radio 4 was known as Mulungush, by the way. Number four, he worked for Radio Phoenix. Yes. He worked for the popular Radio Phoenix. Those days, Radio Phoenix was like the only private radio station. It was started by a, a man who is right now known as Ero Hiki. So the youngsters of today may not know Hiki. That is where he also worked for. Did you know that number five? We are now, it is getting interesting. The first fact I knew him in 1990, I met Chirakatwish must have been in 1991 in Chilenge where I used to live in Chilenge on Karomo Road. Chirakatwish, I knew him when he was appointed as senior private secretary to the second Republican president, president, President Frederick Chiluba. Yes, he was in his 20s. Did you know about that? <laughs> he was in his 20s, senior private secretary to the president of the Republic of Zambia. Yes, that I'm so excited and proud of him. He was the youngest senior private secretary in his 20s. That is number six. Number seven, he founded the popular Njikata Fever. Those who don't know Njikata Fever, it started, he brought a saying which was popularly known as Friday Njikata, Saturday Ndekerako, Sunday Kulondolora. Yes. Number eight. Did you know that he also worked for movie TV? Yes. Don't argue if you are not there. Number nine. I'm so excited. Did you know that Chela Katwish is very much alive. Yes, Chela Katwish is so much, very much alive. Number 10, he lives in London today pursuing his media, music. He also works for... I don't know the other things about him. I didn't want to Google him. I wanted to talk about him from my heart. So that is what I know about Chiraka Twishi. The other thing in the 90s when I met Chiraka, Chiraka Twishi, when I lived in Chilenge South uh, in the 19, early 1990, 1991, 1992, 
I remember which he may not know. This is a surprise. I will not go into details. How did I know Cherakatwish? Cherakatwish. But I know him. I by then in the 1990-1991, that was about 12 years or 13 years. I was just tending to become uh, a teenager. So that's what I know about Chirakatwishi. We used to admire him a lot when he passes Chirakatwish. Those days he drove the latest Land Rover. I think Land Rover discovery it was the very latest vehicle at that time. So guys, that is the celebration about this living legend who used to, who loved Rumba Night. He also, the, he was the first Zambian to promote Oliver Mutukuzi, who is now late. Yes, that is Chela Katwishi. I'm so excited about this video and I know he's going to watch because he watches my channel and he found it. That's why I didn't take long to make this video. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you are new on my channel, subscribe, turn on bell notification, give this video a thumbs up. We are on a road to 10,000 subscribers. So, as I say my goodbyes. And so guys, from what I've been talking about in this video, state one thing, is there anything you if you remember anything, anything you know about Cherakatwish that I've not mentioned, comment down below. Subscribe, turn on bell notification and give this video a thumbs up. Anything that I've not mentioned in this video guys, I want to hear your comments if you knew anything about Cherakatwish, a living legend. Thank you so much guys, I'll see you in my next video. Peace.